Who are you? Whose face and name you keep hidden? No. Your name is of no consequence if your footsteps have led you to me. Yerma is mine own. But this is not the right moment, for the steps that my promise inspires are swift, and the will that directs them unshakable. This hatred which blinds my reason with shadows. I must leave at once. Here our wills cross once again, O oh, nameless, penitent one. For a long time now, my life has been naught but a constant struggle to fulfill a promise as old as these lands. Is it your wish to meet her? When I was but a girl, I was able to escape the horror of the deformity engendered by the miracle. A miracle that chose the clean reflection of the still waters of a lake to reveal the truth it held in store for each of those who gazed within it. The old bell, which had fallen to the bottom of the lake many years before, began to ring, making the waters ripple to its eerie chime. Our reflected faces began to distort before our terrified gazes. And the miracle ended up capturing that work, that disfigured horror on the waters, as if it were a fresco, making everything that had been reflected in them disappear. As I fled, I turned my gaze towards the lake and beheld that ghastly event from afar. Penitent one, can you not hear it? We find ourselves in the confines of one of the ill-fated forms of the miracle that yearns to meet thee. Do you wish me to join you in your next confrontation? There you shall find me, and in communion we shall fight. Penitent one. Our bond led us to victory, 
But it was not the victory I long for. Is it your wish that I continue with the story of my promise? Indeed. It was the miracle's will that made the bell ring. But it was the lady's sin that brought the curse down upon us. The lady. The most beautiful of women who lived in the palace by the lake. Lived to admire her own beauty, which she believed to be unnaturally divine. The reflection of the lake in which she admired herself returned her own beauty with yet more intensity and splendor, keeping her spellbound for days. Desiring that reflected perfection for herself, she prayed to the lake that no one else might see that reflection. As she looked at her reflection one more time, she saw her face distort to the sound of a terrible tolling that rose up from the lake's sunken bell. Do you wish me to join you in your next confrontation? There you shall find me, and in communion we shall fight. Our meeting with the lady. My spear is not ready. It needs one last blessing. I need your help to find the holy oil with which I shall anoint my ornate spear. untruths will be weak to the thrusts of my spear. already shines with the oil's glow. I feel my search coming to an end. Mistress of lies, craftswoman of evil shadows, I know you dwell in these galleries, behind treacherous mirrors. My spear is now ready to carry you to your one true grave. Penitent one, you are free to accompany me or continue in solitude. Will you join me in this final confrontation? At last, there you shall meet me and in communion we shall fight. The body of the lady lies before our victorious feet. Her curse and the curse of this place are lifted. My promise has been fulfilled by dint of your help. Penitent one, before continuing on your journey, first take this as a sign of our blessed bond. Farewell, penitent one, on the straightest of paths. <laughs> 